हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस टुडे आई विल शो हाउ वी कैन रिमूव द इनट्यून प्राइमरी यूजर्स इन बल्क यूजिंग पावर शेल स्क्रिप्ट दिस इज हेल्पफुल व्हेन वी वांट टू कन्वर्ट अ डिवाइस इनटू अ शेयर डिवाइस और सेट इट अप फॉर मल्टी यूजर्स अलाउंग मल्टीपल यूजर्स टू एक्सेस द डिवाइस any win32 application deployed on shared devices can be downloaded and installed by all users through the company portal to do this we have to download the powershell script and the csv file from the github and i already downloaded the script and the csv file from the github and saved it in the download folder and i will provide the github link in the description section now the first step is to update the input file so i'm going to open the input file and in this input file we have to just update the intune device id so to do this we have to go to the intune portal and then we have to just find the sum of the device id now under the hardware information we can find the intune device id let me copy this intune device id and save it in the csv file let me add one more intune device id so i'm going to pick the second one and again under the hardware we have to just copy the intune device id and then save it you can also download the entire dub and then you can just pick the selective intune device id let me just save it save as then i'm going to save it again yes let me close it let me just quickly check whether the input file is updated or not see that we have the three intune device id for the removal purpose now the next step is to update the powershell script to do this we have to edit this powershell script for that i am going to edit this file and in this powershell script we have to just update the user input section where we have to provide the path where we want to save the log and the second one is the csv file path in my case the csv file path is under the download folder i am going to copy the path and then we have to update the file path and i am okay with this path that's all we have to modify in this powershell script then we have to ensure that the microsoft craft intune module is already installed on your device if not then this script is going to install the graph module let me run this power entire powershell script as an administrator so i'm going to select it and then run it now we can see that it started downloading and installing the required module and we have to select yes and now we have to provide the username and password who has the required permission i'm going to use my account now we can see that we have three device in the csv file and it's one by one updating all the device and removing the intune primary user and set it to none let's see in the intune portal whether the user primary device is removed or not so to do this again we have to go to the intune portal and then select the device go to the property and we can see that the primary user it is set to none and we can verify the same thing for the other device also let me quickly check the other device and we can see that the for the other device also the primary user association is now removed and it's set to none let's check quickly check the logging also so to do this we have to go to the c drive and in that we have to go to the temp folder and there is a folder called intune reporting and change primary user and we can see that change primary user log is created actually when i was running this script i am getting this error but now we can see that the script executed successfully i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video